Uh, Eggville published a book in 1950, Landscape for a Living, and it was our freshman year at Cal. He was teaching at that time at USC, not at Berkeley. And he, but his book came out, and our, I guess it was uh, Dave Arbogast or Lytton, or maybe it was Vaughn, I can't remember, signed us to buy that book as a freshman. Buy the book. I want you to interpret the first chapter. I looked, I, you know the book. You, I opened that book and began to try and read what he has written. And after the first paragraph, I was already lost. I said, this is impossible. I have to look up every word that he put in that paragraph. And I asked the other freshman, I said, what did you think about Garrett's chapter one? They're all going with their hands in the air like this. I, I don't know what to do with it. I, we don't understand all of it. So the, someone did a crit. I mean, I'm not sure who in the firm, not a firm, but one of the professors, kind of broke it down for us in, <laughs> in English terms. And uh, we could see what Garrett was, how his, what his approach was. And, but the way in which the language was projected in the book, boy, I was, uh, I was at loss. I mean, I, I, I admit I'm not a very good reader, but <laughs> that just about floored me. I figured if this is landscape architecture, I'm out of here. <laughs> but looking through the book, it was so amazing of all the, the different kinds of beautiful projects and how he handled the verticals and horizontals and formal and his was much more angular and formal but boy it sure made a lot of sense the way he was doing things. I was like, like I said, I was a tiny church man so I, I like things more softer. But that I still have that book and I still look at it all the time. And in that book somewhere he had actually laid out plans for one of the internment camps consultant to the government which was uh, which was exciting to hear I wish it were, we were in that camp but anyway uh, you were in awe just that he was there you were honored to have him it was uh, I mean it was a great uh, opportunity for the students to really see the, the, probably the best four in the country to come and spend time giving your class a crit on your designs. Absolutely most wonderful year of my life. It really was. I was then encouraged and destined to be a landscape architect. I said I was like, anybody, anybody close to these guys, it would be a miracle. But uh, I, all, I have good teachers and certainly good people to follow and, uh, and hopefully I, I made some kind of a mark in the profession.